Welcome to an example on how to determine the loan payment for a mortgage when there's a down payment requirement and the loan also has points. The price of a home is $175,000. The bank requires 15% down payment and two points at the time of the loan. The loan is a 20 year fixed rate mortgage at 4.25%. Number one, we want to determine the down payment and the loan amount. Number two, we want to find the cost of the two points. Number three, find the monthly mortgage payment. And number four, how much total interest will be paid over the life of the loan. So for number one, since the loan requires 15% down payment, we want to find 15% of 175,000. We can do this by multiplying 175,000 by 15% and express as a decimal, which would be 0.15 which comes out to $26,250. So now to determine the loan amount, we'll take the $175,000 and subtract the down payment. Which comes out to $148,750. For number two, we want to determine the cost of the two points. If a loan has points, it has extra costs attached to it, and for every point, you pay an extra 1% of the loan amount. So the cost of the two points will be 2% of the loan amount, or 2% of $148,750. So $148,750 times 2% expresses a decimal, which would be 0 0.02. And this comes out to $2,975. So this means in order to purchase the home with this loan, the buyer would have to have the down payment and the cost of the two points in order to purchase this home. Now for number three, we're asked to find the monthly mortgage payment. And we'll do this by hand using this formula here, and we'll also verify it using the finance menu on the graphing calculator. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. So number three, the monthly payment is gonna be equal to this quotient here, where P is the loan amount, which is 148,750, times R divided by N, where R is the annual interest rate and N is the number of payments per year. So since the rate is 4.25%, expressed as a decimal, we would have 0.0425. We're making monthly payments, so N is 12, since there's 12 months in a year. So here's the numerator, and then for the denominator, we'll have one minus the quantity one plus R divided by N, which again is 0.0425 divided by 12, raised to the power of negative n times t, which would be negative 12 times t, which is the time in years. This is a 20 year fixed rate mortgage, so t is 20. Now let's go to the calculator to evaluate this, and we'll determine the numerator and denominator separately to help us simplify this. So for the numerator, we'll have 148,750 times 0 0.0425 divided by 12. We'll go ahead and round this. It'll be approximately 526.8229. And now for the denominator, we'll have one minus the quantity one plus 0 0.0425 divided by 12. raise the power of, this would be negative 240, so we have approximately 0 0.57194, and I will find this quotient,
So the monthly payment is going to be approximately $921.12. Now again, let's go ahead and verify this using the finance menu on the graphing calculator. So we're gonna press the apps key, enter for finance, enter for TVM solver, N is a number of months over the 20 year period. 20 times 12 is 240. The interest rate is 4.25%. The loan amount or present value is 148,750. We'll come back to the payment. The future value would be zero when the loan is paid off. Payments per year is 12, compounds per year is 12, Payments are at the end of the month. So now we'll go back up to payment, clear this, and press alpha enter for solve. Again, alpha enter. Notice how if we round this monthly payment to the nearest cent, it would be $921.11, and we came up with $921.12. And that's because when we did it by hand, we actually rounded the numerator and denominator. I'm gonna go ahead and use this monthly payment here, because I realize that some of us might not have access to this type of program. Now for number four, we want to determine the total interest paid for this loan over the 20 year period. So to do this, we'll first find the total amount paid and then subtract the loan amount. So the amount paid over the 20 years is going to be the monthly payment, $921.12, the number of months over 20 years, that would be 20 times 12, or 240. So $921.12 times, this would be 240. So $221,068.80. Now we're going to subtract the loan amount, which was 148,000, $750. Since we already have the total amount paid in the calculator, we can just press minus 148,750, enter. And so the total interest would be And that's going to do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.